there, welcome to Rockstar Vegan Recipes. I'm Brooke and today we are going to make the ultimate Beyond Meat vegan lasagna. The first thing that we're going to do to add to the lasagna is we are going to be making a tofu ricotta. We're gonna make that first and let it sit so that the flavors combine. Okay, so into the bowl, I'm going to be putting 450 grams of medium firm tofu. Into the bowl, I'm going to mash that tofu up. It's gonna take a bit of time <laughs> until it is the texture of ricotta. Okay, so now that the tofu is all mashed up, I'm going to be adding half a cup of vegan yogurt, plain unsweetened. This is going to help culture the cheese a little bit. Okay, I'm now going to add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast has um, a bit of a cheesy, nutty flavor, and I put it on everything. Now we're going to add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, now I'm adding three cloves of minced garlic. <laughs> okay, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and one teaspoon of lemon juice. We're gonna mix it all together now until it's completely combined. Now that it's combined, I'm just going to set it to the side and start preparing the rest of the lasagna. Now we're going to start making the sauce. I'm adding about a tablespoon of olive oil into the pan. I'm going to get that nice and hot, and then I'm going to start browning the Beyond Meat. Yeah, nice and hot. I just put a little bit of water on, nice and hot. Okay, so in Canada, we don't yet have the crumbled Beyond Meat, so I'm going to be using two of the Beyond Meat burgers and then crumbling them up in the pan. All right, so it's fairly crumbled up. Now I'm just going to let it brown. As the Beyond Meat is browning, I'm going to be adding one medium onion, which I chopped, to the mix, and also eight medium-sized cremini mushrooms that I chopped. You can always use just the white button mushrooms as well. I'm gonna stir that all together and get it cooking. Okay, so this is almost done. What I'm going to add is now a whole bunch of spinach. It's Tell you the truth, I didn't measure it out. I just got a whole bunch of spinach. Baby spinach, and I'm just going to put it on top and let it wilt down. Well, that spinach has wilted down to pretty much nothing. So um, this is ready to go into the big pot with all the other ingredients for the sauce. Okay. So over medium low heat, I'm going to be adding a jar of marinara sauce. This is my absolute favorite sauce. It's called white linen and I just buy it at Costco. It is absolutely delicious. Of course, use whatever marinara sauce you prefer. So I'm gonna pour the whole jar into the pot. Now I'm going to add 14 ounces of crushed tomatoes. These are crushed tomatoes with basil added to them. So that's going into the pot as well. 
and I will be adding three ounces of tomato paste. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, stir it all together, get it all mixed in. And this is our sauce for the lasagna. All right, the sauce is done and it's time to put it in the pan and layer the lasagna. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to coat the bottom of the lasagna pan with sauce. I'll put a little bit more in just so that it's fully coated. Now the lasagna noodles that I'm using are the oven ready lasagna noodles so I didn't boil them. You could if you want choose to use the noodles that need boiling but these are a lot faster. I'm just going to layer them into the pan, making sure that I push them into the sauce. Because they're not cooked, you wanna make sure that they're in the sauce because if they are not in the sauce and they're not covered, they're not gonna get cooked. So there's the first layer. Now I'm gonna add more sauce over the noodles. All right, so now I'm going to put on some vegan cheese. The cheese that I'm using is the uh, Dea mozzarella shredded cheese. So I'm going to just sprinkle some of the Dea mozzarella cheese. Now we're back to that tofu ricotta that I made earlier at the very beginning of the recipe. That is now going to be going on top of the shredded cheese. I'm just going to Put little clumps of it on and then I'll spread it out as much as I can. So I'm trying to get it as evenly spread as possible. Now more noodles. So more noodles go on top. More sauce. More cheese. About half of the remainder of cheese more ricotta. Now I'm spreading out the ricotta. This was the remainder of the ricotta. So it's just two layers of ricotta all together. Last layer of noodles. That's three layers of noodles in total. And the remainder of the sauce. Again, I'm just making sure that all the noodles are covered with sauce. And now finally, the rest of the cheese. And now, just for a little decoration, I've just cut up some red bell peppers that I will be putting on the top. Okay, I'm gonna cover it with tin foil so that the moisture stays in and helps cook the noodles. And I'm going to cook it in a heated oven. I've heated it to 375 degrees. I'll be cooking it for 40 minutes. And then I will take the tin foil off and cook it for 10 minutes longer with the tin foil off. Into the oven it goes. I just took it out of the oven it was in there for 40 minutes with the tin foil and then 10 minutes without the tin foil and it's done and I can't wait to dig in. I'm just going to let it cool for a little bit and then I'm going to taste it. Now this lasagna smells so good that I have to try it right now. However, lasagna is always better the next day because it firms up and the flavors mix together. But here I go. Amazing. Oh my gosh. So delicious. Rockstar quality. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys all try out this ultimate Beyond Meat vegan lasagna. And please check out my channel for more rockstar recipes.
Don't forget to like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will answer them. And click on the little bell so that you'll be notified when my new recipes come out.